Hey everybody, Carl here from Apt. We're gonna do an input lag test here for you on the new Samsung Q60T. So to start off, we're gonna send our normal signal. It's 1080p at 60 hertz. We're gonna send that into the TV on all of its standard settings. So this is as it comes right out of the box. We're just on HDMI input number two. And then input lag is hovering right around 87, 88 milliseconds. So now we can go into the menu here and we can turn on game mode. So now I've got game mode set to on. We'll do the same thing with game mode turned on. And that's gonna bring our lag time down pretty significantly. So we're looking at right about 25 milliseconds here. But now Samsung started doing something last year where they add extra processing to it. So now what you have to do if you want even lower lag times is go back into that game mode into their settings. So we'll go here and now if we go to game mode settings you go down to game motion plus settings here. Game motion plus comes turned on from the factory. You want to turn that off to get your best lag time. So now we have that turned off. We'll go back to the home screen here and we'll run the same test but you'll notice a very significant drop off. So we're seeing some excellent input lag times on this. Now we're down to 8.8 .8 milliseconds, so under nine milliseconds on this with all that additional game processing turned off. So if you're looking for the best lag time, that's definitely going to be something that you want to turn off. Now it's not applicable for all games, but for, for depending on the game you're playing, it kind of let that determine whether you turn the processing on or off. But some great lag times here from Samsung again here in 2020. We saw some great times from them in 2019 as well. But uh, as you can see here, just at the starting point, we're looking at some really nice numbers. Thanks for watching and stay tuned because we're going to have a lot more videos coming up.